Hey, how's it going? Uh, we're talking about genetic algorithm, uh, island hop example. It's uh, from uh, this NPM repo, genetic algorithm. It uh, does all the heavy lifting of genetic algorithm for you. And uh, yeah, it has all of this uh, really great docs about how to configure it and set it up. Um, so let's uh, let's take a look at the uh, the example here. Uh, it's got a couple examples, um, a template, traveling salesman, um, evolving numbers, and there's this classic island hop example. Uh, there's a command line version of it, but there's also uh, this web version of it. Let's take a look at this web version. So. Uh, Here's the what's the basic idea here is uh, you know um, we want to try to evolve this I think this uh, dot here is a frog and these are islands and uh, each of the island has a, a score associated with it and uh, the frog can only evolve a little bit maybe like you know to the next uh, island or lily pad uh, but not like really far not like out here uh, let's just uh, start a simulation take a look at it. So yeah, it evolved uh, to this island over here really well, but if we let this run for a long time, it just never gets to the, the awesome island here. How could it get there? Well, if part of it evolved all the way up here, and then it had a crossover function, so this is like the, the one attribute of the frog, like the how long the legs are, and this is like how long the tongue is, um, but for some odd reason, if you have any kind of combination in here, it just doesn't work. And there's this sweet spot combination of having both of those. Uh, and that, that happens in nature, actually. There's two different attributes you have. And then once the two attributes are just the right combination, then they work. But they don't work in any other kind of variation. So uh, we could just run this all we want. It'll never get to here. But if we add something that said, you know what? Uh, we're gonna let the population diversify, and we're gonna we're gonna change that. So we're gonna use this diversity measure a little bit different than uh, regular. Let's start that, and that's what this uh, this library lets us do. Is it has a oh, look at that? We got uh, we got a whole bunch here at the best genetic um, spot, which you, you just can't achieve um, through uh, uh, regular genetic evolution. You need some kind of diversity function. So uh, how, how do they have that in here? They implement it uh, as the um, does a b b function. So here we can we can specify a fitness function which is just like the regular vanilla and then here with a b b does a b b function uh, that's um, that's how we can implement genetic diversity. So in this demo, how I've done it is um, in the does a b b function, I say you know um, if if they're too far away from each other, then uh, a can't beat b because they're just too genetic genetically diverse. So what happens is, uh, you know, you get your algorithm, it, it spreads out and finds all the different combinations that are viable and also the ones that are best. So that's really cool. Um, for a complete list, let's just uh, go through the command line. So what was that? It was down here in the examples, island, let's just, copy that let's just run the island example and here are the there's those islands again so a is the uh, a is where you start you know, it's not the best island and then we have uh, b c and as letters go up they get much better and then the best uh, islands here it's the same as the web one uh, but you can see it run by command line and then um, here we can see you know it's it's traveling just in the y direction and then there's another one that travels in the x direction and gets 
there, and then finally apply insulin um, at the last location. Yeah, and there's other uh, examples in here too, uh, like uh, there's this traveling salesman problem. So the traveling salesman is, uh, you know, you got a whole bunch of, oh, that's the template. Traveling salesman, you've got a, a whole bunch of uh, uh, x, y coordinates, and you're trying to find the distance, the shortest distance between them all. So let's try that one. It's saying, hey, here's a whole bunch of points. They actually go like a square. And uh, just trying to find the smallest distance. And uh, uh, it decreased that distance to just 44 by you know, doing one point after another. Nice. I have a couple other examples and a template. Great. All right, hope you liked the video. Ciao.